Before this video begins, if you're a regular viewer, you already know what's coming. I want to say thank you for 9,000 subs. We hit that two days ago, and that's just an incredible milestone. So thank you all. You guys have been subbing in droves since we've been talking about it. So if you do enjoy the content, we're on the road to 10,000 subs on the channel, and any help to get there is absolutely appreciated. So if you do find yourself enjoying your time here, it's free to sub or unsub in the future if you want to. But thank you all for 9,000 subs. Anyway, let's go on to the exciting news of the sale. For a while now, I've been saying that the PSVR 2 hardware itself needs a sale coming up. It would help boost people buying the headset, it bring down the price for a little bit, encourage people to invest in the platform, and then we can get more games, more support, and, you know, more money in Sony's pocket, which ultimately is what will increase their VR support in the future. Now, we're not sure about where Sony's going to go in terms of support, but hopefully in the upcoming state of play or showcase that's been rumoured, we'll see that support to whatever extent they will announce it at. However, today, we're not talking about that because we've covered that a load in the last couple of days and weeks. We're going to be talking about the fact that that hardware price drop might be right around the corner. According to Insider Gaming, a Sony Days of Play event is coming at the end of May 2024. Now, Days of Play is basically an event that lasts, you know, a couple of weeks. And this one is being rumored from May 29th to June 12th, where a load of PlayStation stuff goes on sale. And it's not just PlayStation games, although those will be included. It will be actual PlayStation products from PlayStation Direct, along with also a discount for PS Plus if you want to pick that up as well. This rumor originates from Deer Labs, and they claim that the PS5, PSVR 2 consoles, as well as DualSense, will be among the hardware sales, with the DualSense controllers coming down to 49.99 euros. As for a PSVR 2 price drop, where it's going to come down to, they don't really specify here, but I could see that coming down by maybe 50 euros, 50 pounds, 50 dollars. I couldn't see it coming down to something as low as 100, I don't think, below top price, but who knows? It may come down that far if they feel the need to bring it down. But I do want to emphasize that this is not a permanent price drop. This is just a price drop for the sale, for days of play, for the two weeks or whatever that it's on and then it'll go back up. So if you have been waiting for a price drop to pick up a PSVR 2, maybe the price has been a little too high for you and you are waiting for that price decrease, now is the time on May 29th to the 12th. If you think about picking it up, go for it. It'll be interesting to see whether or not other accessories like the charging stand will also go on sale or that new case that they've been advertising that is third party but is sold through PlayStation Direct. It'll also encourage people to pick those up if those are on sale too, but just keep an eye out on the PS Direct website and of course, all channels of communication to see what other products come on sale that are related to PSVR 2. However, while this is all fine and good and quite exciting, I'm going to always call out Sony for things they could do better. And oh my God, this would have been such a good opportunity to pick up some Sense controllers discounted for PSVR 2. If they sold them separately, I would have picked up extra ones so I could swap between them. In case my ones broke, I could have a backup pair immediately, but they just do not sell them separately for some reason. It'd be great to see an announcement for that at the upcoming showcase if it does happen. I doubt a hardware thing like that would be announced though. Maybe at the end they could put out a blog saying that they're going to sell them separately. But honestly, a sale like this is exactly what I would have been waiting for as a consumer to pick up a second pair of controllers for my headset. But Sony just don't seem to want to be on it. I don't know whether it's something to do with production or how they're shipping them out. They'll have to create new packaging or whatever. I don't know what it is, but I would love to pick up a second pair and I know a lot of people would as well. If this does happen and we also get a PlayStation Showcase around this time or stay at play, it's going to be a banging couple months to be a PlayStation fan and a PSVR 2 enjoyer, which I am, of course. I love all things VR, but the one I've chosen to specialize in is PSVR 2 because that's what I play the most. That's what is most easy for me to create content in. And I love the community we have here. So we're going to be eating good for the next couple of weeks if these things do actually come to fruition. So let's hope they do. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, Ace Gamer, and Hippie Pickle. And thank you to our YouTube member, Jin007, a license to chill. If you don't want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership, all the links are in the description below, along with the links to the Discord if you want to come and talk to me about anything at all. Once again, thank you all for watching. Feel free to like and sub, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.